it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. This is a game that I bought back in around 1993-ish called Hunter. And I bought it for my Amiga 600 and absolutely loved it. Now how do I get this? <coughs> yes, I absolutely loved it. But then in about oh, a year later I bought an Amiga 1200 and Hunter would not run on it. Um, everything I tried, disabling CPU caches, disabling AGA, running reload kick, everything I could think of, it would not work. And I was gutted. Um, recently, well, about a year ago, I bought an Amiga 500. And I thought, great, I'll play it again. By then, I'd, I'd long since gotten rid of the disc. I'd, I think I gave it to a friend or something. So I bought another copy on eBay, which is the one I just showed you. And it wouldn't work. The disc was corrupted or something. It just it wasn't going to work on my 500 or on my 1200 or anything like that. So I was gutted. But then just recently I I'd known about ADF files for a while, how to run them on emulators and such like, but I found the thing that enables you to dump them onto Amigas and convert them on the Amiga and dump them back onto a floppy disk. So I've been doing a bit of that, which is, I don't condone piracy really, but hell, I'd bought this game, I think I should be allowed to play it. And the cracked copy that I got from this ADS file works. I have to disable my 060 board. It still won't work on the 500, annoyingly, but on my 1200 I disable the 060 board, I disable the CPU caches, I turn off the AGA and presto it works and I can't tell you how absolutely thrilled I am because yeah don't need to be going in there do I I love immersive 3D environments which is what this is and it was the first one I'd ever come across on an Amiga um, I was fascinated by the whole polygon graphics thing anyway and had been for some time and, and having one where it had this free roaming world that you could wander around and do stuff to me this was absolute perfection the the downside was on the 600 the frame rate was appalling um, so here it is now on a 1200 and the frame rate is significantly better to the point where I mean it, it was crippling the game the frame rate on the 600 but on here it's you know great very playable I don't remember an awful lot of what you're supposed to do so I'm just wandering around and grabbing everything really I do actually have instructions here and I should probably uh, I did read them but I've forgotten what they were already so you got lots of things uh, there's something or other about oh yeah ah that's cool I don't know what that is. Yeah. Interesting. Probably didn't need to do that. Almost certainly didn't need to do that. Fuel, first aid, that's good. What's that? Don't know. Let's just press it and see what happens map cool and you can get that just by pressing M handy clock don't know what that does oh I see hmm there we go so I do have a mission here I'm supposed to kill people <laughs> so many kill so many people disable so many things or whatever um, we do have a boat here there are vehicles obviously this is where the map does come in handy
let's go down on the... There is, I don't know if the map is the same every time or not. I want to go to this little island up here before I get onto the mainland. Because they've got stuff here. Yeah, his parking is not so good. But what this reminds me of is a very... I want to steal the suit. I've got the suit <laughs> as an enemy uniform. That don't need another parachute. It's disturbing that I'm going to need a parachute at all. What was I saying? Yes, what it reminds me of, a very basic Grand Theft Auto. You know, you've got none of the storyline as such, but the overall concept it's very similar. Here you are in an open, free-form kind of do-what-you-like world with things you can interact with. And here we are. Auto, we'll do that. We'll just let it pick everything for us. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and it's fantastic. I mean, this does exactly what I wanted at the time when I got it on the 600. You know, I, I was aware of 3D vector graphics and polygon graphics and everything, and sitting there thinking, why on earth doesn't someone build a game where you've got this world where you can just wander around and do stuff? And here it is. Where's my... B oh, there it is. And it was exactly what I wanted. And I was just kind of gutted at the time that though they'd done what I had wanted them to do, the frame rate was so slow as to cripple it. I should probably turn the boat off. I might want it again, and I'm using up all the fuel. Uh, right, now you can get out. I believe the red bits around here are like enemy territory. Mm. Interesting. Oh, I see. You hold your finger on the mouse and it shows you where the vehicles are. Well, let's go over to the uh, left, west, that thing, yes. There should be a vehicle around here. Of course, the problem here is I know there's a vehicle in this direction, but I can't. You can't pan around, I don't think. No. Which would be nice. You know, so you could look around, see what's around you. Don't appear to be able to do that. I know there is a tank in this game because I got into it and drove it yesterday and that was hysterical. Um, I... Oh dear. What's this guy? I want to kill him. Just because... Well, that's not working, is it? Ah, there we go. You have destroyed a comrade. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to kill him then. Uh, I'm a traitor to my cause. Where's the bleeding tank? I want the tank. I want to run around in the tank and run people over. There it is. I want to shoot that seagull as well. I'm sure I can't. I know you can run over rabbits. I ran over a rabbit in the tank yesterday. Uh, that was fun. I'm a bad man. There we go. Get him. Yes. 
It doesn't let you drive into the sea, which is a good thing. It also doesn't let you drive over tents, which I find very odd. That's a pretty weedy tank that can't run over a tent and flatten everyone in it. I would like to do that. This appears to be the enemy camp base something. Don't seem to be able to blow up the building, that's disappointing. And what is that? Is that a rocket or a... Oh yeah. Scud missile, perhaps. What? There's the rabbit. Come on, Mr. Rabbit. Low on fuel, bugger. Come on. Come here. Yes! So I lost points, but I just wanted to kill the rabbit, because I am that mean and horrible. There we go, anyway. We're just about out of time. Th there is a mission. You've got to kill so many people and blow up certain buildings and other objectives that I don't remember because it, it told me what they were right at the start and I have since forgotten. In fact, I wasn't paying attention because I was talking to you lot. This is a fantastic game. It is difficult to get running on a modern Amiga, um, even on this cracked one. Uh, having the original, unless you've got a 500, 500 plus 600, it is damn near impossible really, but um, awesome. Love it. First, first game of its type where I really found what I was looking for in a game and you know pfft, words are failing me oh shut up I'm rambling I like it it's great thank you for watching this and videos of other retro games in my collection and a video of my console and computer collection can be found on my YouTube channel along with a link to my website retrogamingcollector.com so take a look at that if you've got nothing better to do Thank you for watching.